Now this is a question that I think a lot of PC gamers at one point have had and that it is, have you ever had friends come over to your house and since you don't have a console, you can't let them play with you about a game like Apex, a game like League of Legends, a game like Fortnite because you only have one computer, which means you only have one keyboard, one mouse, one monitor. And now some of you guys might be thinking, well, you know, I have another monitor, I have another keyboard, why can't I just use my computer as two? And today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do that exactly. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, make sure to drop a like on it. And also don't forget to subscribe and let's roll the intro. Alrighty guys, we're going to be hopping over to my desktop where I'm going to be showing you guys the two programs that I use to make all of this possible. And then after I show you guys and give you guys a little bit of a rundown, I'm going to be showing you guys how I implemented it into my setup and how I'm able to use my computer to game with my brother right next to me so it's really cool overall so we're going to be hopping over to my desktop and as you guys can see i am on aster multi uh, gaming website and basically what this program does as it shows you right here you can just plug in a different keyboard a different mouse a different headset everything and this program basically allows you to divide it so you can divide the monitor you can do a bunch of other things and it's really really intricate and this program gives you a 30-day trial and then once the trial runs out it runs for about 40 dollars you can find it on discount sometimes Times. it's normally 50 but 40 is like the average price I paid like 38 so it wasn't too bad for a lifetime license now you're gonna need GeForce now for one reason that is because I've thought about doing all of this and I think multiple people have thought about doing this you know setting up one PC and having two people play off of it separate entities of their own and Aster allows you to do that but the one problem with that is that once you start doing that I tried it a while ago and with servers so like League of Legends Apex and everything like that you're coming off of the same IP which means that the servers think you're trying to use like a bot account and basically what that does is that it makes it so that you can't play with each other so I tried playing League of Legends with my brother and then I logged into my account and he logged into his account and then we got booted and it said that you couldn't do it because it's off of the same IP and I was like, okay, that's great. I can't do that anymore. And now the solution to all of this is GeForce Now. And you may be asking, well, why? Because GeForce Now allows you to connect to an external gaming PC that you're just streaming to your PC, which means that I'm technically not connecting with my IP because I'm streaming to an NVIDIA server and that server has an IP of its own and that means that I have a different IP than my current computer which means in conclusion drumroll so you know math is really hard but overall it works really really well and I definitely think that the combination of using something like Shadow, something like Stadia, something like that would overall work exactly the same but to me GeForce now has had the lowest latency of any of these programs and i have like okay internet it's not great but it's also not terrible so i know that this is like a really good experience and if i had a better internet it would be incredible now going over to my desktop basically this is what the program looks like and this is it's a very simple overall program so as you can see right here for place these are all workstations that you can create and obviously do keep in mind that this is all working off of your computer so if you have like a lower comp lower end computer don't try to like turn all of them on and do something my com my computer has like a ryzen 7 2700 overclocked not too much 16 gigs of 3200 megahertz ram and like a 1660 and that's it and i'm able to do this perfectly fine and play games perfectly fine so right here as you can see i have already selected which accounts uh when i boot it up it's gonna log into so this one's gonna log into mine and this one's gonna log into my brother's whose name is mikey and yes it's spelled like that i'm not gonna argue about that and as you can see right now whenever i move my mouse it'll show you right here it'll indicate to you um what about it is uh moving so you know where it is so right now i actually do have the workstation turned on and um that workstation is just standing there i'll probably throw some b-roll to kind of show you guys the two setups but those are two separate entities on their own and then if i click my keyboard it'll show you that this knows that this monitor keyboard and mouse are connected to each other and then obviously the other monitor and the other keyboards are going to be connected to the other uh account that's connected to this one computer point being of this video this software is honestly incredible for what it does it literally allows you to have as many stations as you want off of 
just a computer so technically if i upgraded this computer alone i could have like three or four computers and just keep plugging in usb hubs and you know get a tank air power supply and all these things here and there but i could have one gaming system for multiple people and that's really incredible to be able to do even at the what $40 price tag that's still a really good deal so I honestly do think it's worth it too often but he does like playing games like League of Legends here and there Apex here and there and he can't really do that if he doesn't have a gaming PC but I don't want to build him a whole gaming PC because I know he won't utilize it so this is like a perfect alternative because it lets you have a little bit of, of both worlds and it's just really good overall because it doesn't really utilize too much internet GeForce now and you're using one computer and since it's not utilizing too much internet that means that you're still going to be able to play fine while the other person's still able to play fine and overall i do think that you know as you guys are looking at these setups i do think that it's like overall just really cool i think that it's cool that i'm able to just play games off of one computer and have two people here two setups fully powered and overall guys that's really all i had for this video it's a really really cool project that I like one day I was like I wonder if I could do that and I tried it I tried it it didn't work and then I just gave up on it and I was thinking about it and then when GeForce Now came out I was like wait if I run that would I technically still be like IP blocked so that league doesn't let us play together and then it was like four in the morning and I was experimenting and it worked I was playing with my bot account in the same match and it was the craziest thing ever because that just means I can play games with my brother and not have to worry about building him a computer. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you guys have ever tried anything like this or have heard of anything like this. I know Linus does something where he like has one massive CPU and he does it for a bunch of computers. But have you ever heard of anything more consumer grade like this? My computer is not like more than $800 and it's able to run two systems perfectly fine. 75 hertz monitor each uh, keyboard, mouse, microphone. And that's really it so that's an entire setup guys anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys have a great day and i will catch you guys later peace guys